bad. I, I love this game. I think they did such a good job with it. Oh my god, that's a lot of dead whales. Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. <clears throat> so yeah, Chloe is now paralyzed. We don't know why. Uh, but her dad is alive, so that's good, I guess. hanging out with you again I know I'm glad we are though it was nice that you sent me actual letters it's more than any of my other friends have done oh so we sent her letters and stuff paper. but still Max he's so pretentious but I love writing on it like an English poet you deserve the best stationery you deserve the best stationery I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. The, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What did photographers call that? The golden hour. See? And without you here, I'd have no clue. The golden I hour. Some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Hmm. Let's talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and threw me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap, and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Mmm. That reminds me of, uh, there was like a... In the trailer for this, there was a scene for an end of the world party. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. Mm, science know nerd, huh? Out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should go back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. 
<laughs> She's the one who says it all the time. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. High tech lair. I'm lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you were here with them. Right. Especially <clears throat> when you can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like a little science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. And... Can you can you bring me some water? Some water? Where's your water at? Why is my sensitivity cranked again? Yep, there it is. Water. Drink up, Buttercup. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I, I am a pod a in a cast. Uh, yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in your own life. Hmm. Seems like yesterday. Hey, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am... This episode's, a, lo this episode's a lot of cutscenes. How? And, like, not actually talking or, or doing anything. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and I get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> Her last name is Price. That's why I love you. Chloe Price. Of course, I She's know you priceless. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when we'd spend the night at my home. What do you want to watch? Uh, 
I think I'm in like a, another Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I'll remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Alright, so I'm looking for the movie. Max is so cool that you can see him. Ah, there's the guy. Okay, that was super easy. Change your zone, bathroom, or a gas mask optional. believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night and do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard are you okay i do have a mother and father and you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Mmm. Good one. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. And, and bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this bag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. You're the pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Yeah, let me just go get you some drugs. Oh, that used to be a that used to be like half of the garage. <clears throat> Victoria, come on, Max. Are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast, Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up. Okay, love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me. Okay, silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Damn. Why is she, like, so nice? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. She was in the dark room. Oh, I wanted to go in the garage, see what it looks like. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Actually, we're going to go here she needs her morphine it's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too where is it is it in here the bathroom looks almost the same just more medicine what no Go on this side Yep, there it is. Here it is. 
I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, most people don't really ever think of that. There's her dad, still alive. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary's like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Who keeps photo albums? Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He we look like tried toys? To the time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished him. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Damn, that was uh, that was depressing a little bit. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Oh, that's the picture. Maybe I could. That's the picture I used to go back and save her dad. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable. While my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being she gonna ask me to kill her has been so special. I just she's gonna ask to me to unplug like her. We were kids running around Arcadia Bay, and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, I can't kill her. I can't. I can't kill her. Nah, no way. I can't kill her. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them. But they won't honor my wishes. You will. I, I, I can't kill you with an overdose. 
Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Jesus. Chloe. Because I, I wouldn't never kill you? Leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. I'm going to go change it back. I thought I had it. I'm gonna be real, this shit's kinda hard. Okay. That blinded the fuck out of me. Someday dad'll get one of them <clears throat> newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max want Oh, is she burning it so that I can never come back? Don't blow it. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Wow, that that was super sad. That makes all of us, and he's literally about to go die. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen. Whatever happens... I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. That was sweet. All the memories are going back. Is that a picture of her and Rachel? We didn't see like a bunch of these pictures. The fuck? Is that us? You're back. 
Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out. She said they stayed up all night. Welcome back to the real world, Max. And I never lose my wallet. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden get shit Nathan's he's got in his phone, messages. Huh? Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. Good power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom was giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Okay, so I need to go search through the garage to look through David's stuff. <clears throat> There's David. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? It looks okay. like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. So what am I looking for exactly? And what all can I look at? Flyers. I wonder if David is going to the party. Ah, this is the end of the world party. Vortex Club, end of the world party. Blackwell swimming pool, Thursday, 10, 10, 13. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Hmm, what did he do? Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh, there's two guns missing now, yep. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Yeah, you kind of fucked everything up. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Okay, paper ball. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Let's see. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. 
You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. He kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... And that's it. That's as far as he got. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. David Madsen from Principal Wells to David Madsen. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Ms. Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best, Principal Wells. Oh, meow, Ms. Grant. Twist that knife. From Michelle Grant to David Madsen. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Ms. Grant. God damn! At least he has one weird fan. Anonymous. Read. From Anonymous to David Madsen. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. From David Madsen to Raymond Wells. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. Damn. All right. A map. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Oh. So he's working for them, putting up... Putting up surveillance cameras. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anything else I could look at? That's a door to go back into the house. Can I go in that locked locker? Or... Whoa, that is a serious padlock on the locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Uh, can I... Is there something in here I can use to, like, open it or something? Wait. Ah, yes, crowbar. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Man, we're really going ham to fucking... Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Absolutely, you fucking would. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff maps, in it. Maps, notes, coordinates, coordinates, photos of Kate and Nathan. Oh, yes. 317 Blackwell Academy parking. She knows something. The hell is all this? I think that's that's Chloe's truck. Oh, he fucking he took a picture of that shit. Ooh, picture of me. That's sketchy. Score. Back to Chloe now. We don't like that. It's amazing how much drama this living room is. I has love seen. you, Mom. XOXO. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Ooh, I've never got I've never gotten to do this part, see Kate in the hospital, because I never was able to save her. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I hear you. 
But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be her friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Yeah. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Wow, that Thanks, was Chloe. that was heavy. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. String him up by his balls, huh? Sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Kate. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes, and you could bring Warren along too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max, and right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon.
Was I supposed to be taking care of her bunny? Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo, I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the okay. fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit. So we didn't end up adding there. a photo Thanks, Mr. Or, or submitting a photo. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so <laughs> ignoring it. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Oh, if I can, if I can find it's out where so he is. Can I not talk to this guy? Oh, that was sick, bud. Too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. What do you do now? You do the same thing, or? I'm working on it. I missed her laugh. No, you did. And I fell off my board. She is probably high. Yeah. She had the sick man. Can't talk to that guy. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. I hope not. What can I talk to? There we go. Me to the drive-in. Hey, I'm pissed now. Brooke looks happy that she's going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more <clears throat> angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. Huh. I, I, I like how she had to throw that in there. Brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. We get it. You like Warren. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. 
I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Oh my god, we get it. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. Wait, do I actually get to fly this drone? Oh, no, I just... I just watch it. That's pretty cool, though. I've never done this before. Yo, Justin, what's up, dude? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Yeah, Coast peace out, bro. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school. Oh yeah, I've I've played the first one and I've played uh, before the storm, but I'm playing them all so that I can play Life is Strange too and uh, True Colors. But yeah, these Life is Strange is my favorite game of all time. I love so this game. So lame. They don't have colored dorms here. I was literally yes, just thinking about earlier in the uh, when we all Good watched point. Jacksepticeye's playthrough of Life is Strange Wait, when we were in Timon's apartment. With Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, that Max. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. I thought what's her name was going to tell me what room it was. Oh, no way. <laughs> Nathan's room number is 111. All right, I don't care. You're sending away too many messages. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Yeah, I think I could have figured it out even without that. Good times, great times. Yeah, get in there. All you did was scratch up the wood. Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Dude, God damn, people are blowing up my phone. Stop texting me. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Who is that too? Uh, to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week so I can wear some just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. I've been told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Hell yeah. Bastard. Oh, uh, is this the Kate video? You. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't worry. From Sean Prescott to Nathan Prescott. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour. But for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden. And I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. The shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Don't worry. From Christine Prescott. I'm not going to try and read that. Uh, it's been a long time since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos on camp of, of campus 
so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who's inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your door. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant. Okay. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. About the recent events, from Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Okay. Yeah, he really is a kiss ass. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Yeah, dude, why is that a thing? I was literally just talking about that with my grandma about how, like, during their time, boy children had to wear this stupid, like, sailor suit all the time. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. Instructions for come. use, important safeguards. Ooh, okay. So, I mean, we can pretty much confirm that he has the weapon. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah, that's creepy as fuck, yeah. Nathan Prescott. All American. Is that a porno teen. mag? Butts and boobs. Oregon's best boobs. Crystal. Brand new shot. Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. And he has it on his wall? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. If only. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Is that a dead bird? I don't think one book can guide Ray John, a teen slash parent guide to anger management, Dr. Bill. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Must be, huh? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Whale songs, huh? That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh, my God. Oh, Chloe. shit. Oh, Chloe. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah, me too. Diploma. So cute and ironic. The best son in the world. <laughs> this diploma certifies that Native Pre Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. June 6, 20, oh, yeah, 2006. The parents, Sean Prescott. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Once again. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Probably doesn't even use it. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. 
Uh, no, he's still kind of a psycho. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? That's a nice couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. We got now the phone. I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. We got it. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. And creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> Damn, son. You are so fucking dead. Yeah. Get off me, bro. <sighs> Get off me, bro. I'm staying out of it. Fuck that. Beat his ass. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this motherfucker. Damn, son. God damn. On me. Please. Holy shit. That was Please way stop. more violent than I thought. Down. Hey, come on. Holy Stop. shit. I'm sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. God damn, dude. Damn. Beat his ass. Hell no. Hell no, I'm not changing that, that shit. Good. But scary. Hell no. Damn. That was intense. Warren. Uh, thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. God damn, dude. He got fucked up. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. You are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. <clears throat> Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Yeah, let's not. I 
hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. <sighs> There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Well, I'm how could you? Or did the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland? Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Yeah, I'm always kind of nervous going to this guy because uh, we did try to fucking shoot him. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Well, and they're covered by cardboard. <laughs> you should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Get him. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? Go to church? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <clears throat> Oh no! No! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! What the fuck? Yo! I just shot a man and his dog. Holy shit, dude. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. <clears throat> Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Yo, can I fucking rewind, dude? 
fuck, Frank, bro. We killed the dog. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Yo, let me rewind. Holy fuck, dude. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Yeah, I'm going back, bro. That was too much. Holy shit. Can I skip all this shit, or...? Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Oh. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Holy fuck, man. I'm like, I, I, I've never seen that outcome before. I'm actually like, oh, oh look, wow. The Wonder Twins. I'm like uncomfortable. Should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? <laughs> bro, if only you knew, dude. Some of your... Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but... This is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, <clears throat> it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. You, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her, remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girlie. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Is this shit gonna happen again? Get the fuck back now! Bruh! Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Dude! I don't need to see this shit again. Bro, do we just have to... Dude, I gotta just get out of here, bro. Is that... You can't... Oh my god, I don't want to look at that. Oh my god, bro! Holy shit, Chloe, man. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I keep seeing Frank dead. Who really gives a fuck about him. Frank? You killed the dog. Listen, you saved my life and yours. We have to keep going forward. Bro.
Bro, god damn, I better dude. focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's... David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Okay. Am I supposed to, like... Oh, okay. Select stuff. The coordinates, I'll probably go with the license plates. Which would go with what? What is this? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. I was surprised he to get an unscheduled that. visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Who is that? Okay, so I can't select any of that. So is it going to go with this? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Was that right? I actually have no idea. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Okay, so let's look at this. Well, no, not select. Let's. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Okay. Compensating. So he's in a usual. red truck. So it's not either of those two. It's one of these two. Oh, it's this one. So this one, this one, what are these? Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Oh, it's, it's license plates. So what is his license plate? Huh. Who does this car belong to? SXFTNDR. Oh, that just gets to that one. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, I, I need you to go online and help me decipher this. Chloe? Oh, bro, we, we, we messed her up, dude. Oh, my God. Chloe. Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but... We're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back, and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm, I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. I can't live with keeping this a secret, and I don't want to be a teenage fugitive on the run, and, and dude, I swear I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Bro, Chloe, god damn. It was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. <sighs> okay, you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up. But Chloe, I, this has to be our destiny, or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel, for Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates, because... He might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel. Oh, man. Holy fuck, dude. 
I can't get over Thanks, the fact Chloe. that that shit actually happened. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Okay. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... David Madsen and I, I Nathan Prescott Rachel have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a right. drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a fr front for another local dealer. Because hearing Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. So, <clears throat> what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Okay, we read that already. <clears throat> Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Oh, okay, so he names them all after dogs. Chloe's a bulldog. Victor Stella's on here. Miss Fancy Car. Victoria is not on here, huh? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So, what? What am I doing here? Did I already look at this? Yeah. So. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. So we're supposed to select two things here? Oh. Okay, so is it this? And this? About the drug mule shit? Damn. I must have missed something. Is it the account book in that? Yes, the game okay. is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. So I need okay, to select Max, three. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay, so Nathan is rot. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Frank sure is keeping his So am I just satisfied. looking for ones with rot on it? Okay, store. so this is one. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party oh yeah, he's here. No At 11 p.m.? Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. He's not on there. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Not on there. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life... Not on there, so it has to be this one. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. <clears throat> That's it, Max. I actually killed somebody. Listen to me, Chloe. Yeah, it's I'll handle Jesus. everything, okay? I'm gonna study the board and figure out how to connect all these dots. I have okay, okay. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Sim pin one 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 one. I can't even type on it. No, god damn it! I always fuck up. Holy shit! Nathan is seriously unhinged. 
Oh, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. So it's the phone, the SIM card thing, and that piece of paper. I'll have to do four. If there is a dark room, we better find it. This is the Rachel in the it's dark room. Good thing room Chloe shirt. slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings to leniency, or dis despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, Nathan has been sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress <coughs> to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. So I'm assuming it has There's to be this, right? a lot of numbers in here. Oh, yeah. Should talk about numbers for sure. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's get ready to fucking die, bitches. You fuck up my dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Oh, shit. Start hacking. So he knows we have it. So what was the thing on the thing? One, 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 one? Oops. Bad code. Okay, that wasn't it. We could, that's only three numbers, so I don't think it's that. This one's circled, 9535. Five. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, what would be, what would be, there's no four digits on here. Oh, date of birth? August. So, 8... Is that 95? 895? No. No way. It says his date of birth is 1995. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You locked it, dumbass. Fuck. What do I do? Enter P enter Puck? Enter P U K? Was that on the thing? It was. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Eight seven eight nine eight no. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Nope. Eight. God damn it. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Oh yeah, let's find out what. That was actually wow. Has been trying to hide. All right, what's up? Need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down. Bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about you home? trying to score for Got to party tonight. Party. Home. On the way. Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. 
I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What you need? Peruvian flake, skidoo acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. <laughs> God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook a brother up. Please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Ah, keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. I knew it was fucking Nathan. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Yep, he sent this one too. Hey, whore feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. I'm going to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own. Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Damn. <clears throat> Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth was October 4th at 8 p.m. So I'm assuming I need to look for stuff from October 4th, 8 p.m. That's not it. That's not it. That is it. That's at 10.30, though. Yeah, that's that's early. So this one must be the one. This I'm betting is not the right date. Yeah. So it's definitely this one. And then look for the fourth at around that time. That's the fourth at 540. That's the first one. That's the seventh. Nope. Nope. So it has to be this one. Yeah, 10 for at 11 p.m. GHB. <clears throat> Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? No, so again. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. That beach is like Frank's main office. Are there any 10 fours on here? Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor 10 four. So that's at 6 30. That's not the right time. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. No 10 four. Not much out there. 10 4 13 10 56. Chloe. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. So we're going to some creepy-ass old barn. My power <clears throat> isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Okay, don't call me sir. 
I'm a woman. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Would it be the front door? Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get <clears throat> in that barn. Are they going in or out? I guess if it's padlocked so on the Chloe outside, it has to be. Actually, kill Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? That works. I found the front door. Come on. That's not the front door. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only this tractor has paid its dues. Clearly. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Martin Lewis Prescott. Dearest Mr. Lyndon, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen. I expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dissuade our family name to making you pay your debt within 10% interest. Plus a written apology if these conditions are not met. Uh, rest assured, we will make your life a living hell. Damn. Okay. Dicks. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. So much fucking shit everywhere. Haystack. So many haystacks, so few needles. What the fuck? Boring. Boring. The fuck? Do they cover that what every time? Is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't <clears throat> open this with your bare hands. So how am I supposed to open it? Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Gotta go up. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Thanks, sidekick. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having you in this. <laughs> okay. That thing is heavy as fuck and definitely would have fucking broken that wood. 100%. Oh, K. 
Okay, rope. Pull. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Oh. Duh. Oh. I assume I'm sending it off the edge. Max Giver strikes again. Nice. Just say how weird this is. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Uh, okay. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break. So I'll need a code. Hmm. <gasps> Wrong code. Break that digi code. Oh, do I have to rewind now? What was Some on that? Baited, so I just have to get lucky. Oops, bad code. Five two four. I tried that. Two five four. Wrong code. Four two five. Can do it. Come on, bro. You locked it, dumbass. There's only so many. Some numbers look faded. Five, so four, two. I just have to get lucky. Okay. Oh yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. <sighs> Open sesame. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Oh, so it was a bomb shelter. Now what the hell is this? Oh shit, what the fuck? It's like a, what the hell? It's like an art studio. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, shit. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. 
We know you're capable All those of it. Are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh, then shit. Then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh, my God. Rachel, this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. Is that Nathan? Oh, fuck. Is the deer like Rachel's spirit? <clears throat> Is that the spot where I first saw the deer? Well, I guess I first saw it in the in the the premonition, but when we were in the junkyard I saw the deer. Was that the spot? Joyce's his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had these kids are just drinking at school and, and nobody like, everybody's cool with it. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Damn, that was that was pretty terrible. I'm, I'm gonna be real. That was that was pretty awful. Oh shit! This is like the 
that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is this that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. What the Something fuck? Major is he, going down. He, no That's matter what happened, you care that fucking. Is going down. You would care that there's two moons for some reason. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. It doesn't know, look like beer in your cup, motherfucker. That shit's blue. blue. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Not to me. Yes to you. He said half a beer. Dude's hammered. Hi, can I take your phone or anything? Bum, 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 bum. No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate to do Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Yeah, right, they would let these kids have this kind of party. My ass. I knew something was going to happen to her. I'm 
so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit clock. If I get sick now, I can get later. What the fuck? Okay, I can't go this way. Why are there just dudes and girls in here? Is there a bra on the... There is. Nice. <laughs> Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Worse than my dad. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Okay. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I Damn. believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent Kindness. I hope. It's hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who 
says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. I mean, I gotta warn her, right? I gotta warn her. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm, I'm trying to save your fucking life. Make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Damn, dude. Okay, I tried. She's not going to believe me over her Vortex Club partner. Well, why go back and not warn her? She's still not gonna. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photographs and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Victoria. Oh my. What a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. Yeah, that's she uh, is the real everyday. That's some bad taste. 
and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Yeah, tell her whoever that was. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to oh, go to the junk fuck. right now. The two moons. Oh, what's happening? One of them like faded? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Where's the spot at? It's got to be over this one. Yeah, it's over here. Fuck was that? <clears throat> it's over here. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! oh. the fucking forehead. Damn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yikes. Damn. God damn. 